Lord, so far did the strength of a brave spirit prevail over the weakness of their little bodies. Here again is that strain of fanatical dedication and dedication that cannot be political in nature, that can only be religious. More than sixty years after the war that left Jerusalem and the temple to in ruins, the Holy Land erupted again in a new revolt, led by the charis charismatic messianic figure known as Simon Bar Kochma, the son of the star, according to Eisenman. The terminology suggests that Simon was, in reality, descended by blood from the Zealot, leaders of the previous century. In any case, the image of the star had certainly figured prominently among them during the period culminating from, with the First Revolt, and as we have noted, the same image figures repeatedly in the Dead Sea Scrolls. It derives ultimately from a prophecy in the Book of Numbers. A star from Jacob takes the leadership. A scepter, a scepter arises from Israel. The war rule invokes this prophecy and declares that the star or the Messiah will, together with the poor, or the writers repel invading armies. Eisenman has found that the star prophecy in two of the crucial places in the Qumran literature. One, the Damascus document is particularly graphic. The star is the interpreter of the law who shall come to Damascus. As it is written, the, skep the scepter is the prince. Josephus, as well as Roman historians such as Suetonius and Ta Tacitus, reports how a prophecy was current in the Holy Land during the early 1st century AD, to the effect that from Judea would be go forth men dest destined to rule the world. According to Josephus, the promulgation of this prophecy was a major factor in the revolt of AD 66, and needless to say, the star prophecy finds its way into Christian tradition as the star of Bethlehem, which heralds Jesus' for birth, which heralds Jesus' birth as son of the star, then Simon Bar Kochba enjoyed an illustri illustrious symbolic pedigree. Unlike the revolt of a of of A.D. sixty six, Simon's insurrection insurrection commencing in AD 132 was no ill organized conflagra conflagration resulting so to speak from spontaneous combustion on the contrary most prolonged and careful planning went to do the enterprise Jewish Smith and Craftsman pressed into Roman service would, for example, deliberately forge slightly substandard weapons. When these were rejected by the Romans, they would be collected and stored for use by the rebels from the war of the previous century. Simon had, Simon had also learned uh, where that there, that there was no point in capturing and holding fortresses such as Masada to defeat the Romans. A campaign based on mobility, on hit and run tactics would be necessary. This led to the construction of vast underground.